Hi, this is Michael Fisher for SavingAndInvesting.com and in this video we're going to look at the cash flow statement in a bit more detail. In particular, we're going to look at an illustrated cash flow example where we're going to look at the different sections of the cash flow statement or the statement of cash flows. We're going to look at the structure of the cash flow statement and what some of the entries are and some further detail on aspects of the cash flow statement. Now the first thing is that the cash flow statement, like the income statement, captures information over a period of time. For example, a financial year, or even perhaps a quarter of a financial year. But in this example, we're capturing information for the year ended December 31st, 2010. All of the entries are in millions. So like the income statement, it captures information over a period of time, which is and in both those cases, which is unlike the balance sheet, which takes a picture at a snapshot in time, summarizing the assets and how they've been financed in terms of through liabilities and equity at a point in time. So the cash flow statement is over a period of time. It's typically, it's also known as the statement of cash flows, as mentioned, or a funds flow statement. And it shows how a different, uh, how cash is being generated in different areas of the company's operations and aspects of its business. Um, it also links to other cash flow statements, which we'll come back to a little bit later. Um, but basically, the cash flow statement shows how cash is changing in the company um, from year to year. So in this particular cash flow statement, the company has generated an increase of $17 million of cash in the year ending December 31st. The cash flow statement is split into three areas, operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. The company in this case generated a cash flow of $18 million from its operating activities. It had a negative cash flow of $12 million in investing activities, and it also generated $11 million in cash flow from its financing activities. Looking at the operating activities, we start with the net income entry from the income statement. We add back the depreciation, which is a non-cash charge to reflect the, de the decline in the salvage value of, of items that the company uses in its operations. So we added this back. And it, in this case, the company was able to collect on some of its accounts receivable. So there was a decrease in accounts receivable, which means cash comes into the company. And in this case, there was also an increase in inventories, which means the company spent cash to increase its inventories. So overall, the company, this, in this stylized example, the company generated $18 million of cash. Now, what we can say about that, it's obviously better to generate cash from your operating activities than it is to burn cash in your operating activities for a lot of companies. And so the company generated cash here. And then it invested the cash in capital expenditures and purchases of equipment to the tune of $12 million overall. It sold some stock, which generated $10 million of cash. It paid a dividend, and it um, increased its debt by $2 million, also generating cash. Now, why is this the cash flow statement important? The cash flow statement important is important because the income statement captures items where there might not have been an exchange of cash. For example, revenues could be recognized at a point in time, but, but the cash hasn't been received by the company. Um, also, the company might have accounts that it needs to pay, but it hasn't paid them, so it's retained the cash. Or it could have accounts receivable where the, com where the money hasn't come in. Um, and so you know, even though there are uh, bills outstanding, it hasn't received the cash. And because one of the most common reasons for companies to fail is running out of cash, monitoring the cash levels of a company and also the changes in cash levels is very important for management and for investors. It looks at, therefore, the short-term viability of the company and its ability to pay its bills and therefore is of interest clearly to investors, to creditors, to stockholders, to portfolio managers who are looking at the company, to analysts, and obviously the, as well the management who are looking at air, ways of improving the company and how the company is operating. As mentioned, it's split into these three areas and where we can see where the cash is coming from. Um, and in this case, there's clearly a lot of cash coming from the operating activities. Um, and that's overall a good thing. 
in this in uh, typically now the entries and there might, could be more entries in each of the areas there could also be notes to each of the um, entries on the cash flow statement and and further clarifications on whether um, how certain items have ar arisen under the operating activities we have here four entries others that could be included would be interest could be interest received on loans payments to suppliers um, deferred taxes payments to employees and so forth and all of that comes under the operating activities um, in the investing activities we look at things that have to do with the investing activities of the company, clearly things like capital expenditures, purchases of equipment, um, purchases of land, purchases of buildings, um, anything that has to do with major activity, investing activities of the company. And on the financing side, typically we look at things that have to do with the stock, with the debt and the equity of the company, whether the company has paid dividends, whether the company has made new borrowings, whether the company has issued short-term debt, long-term debt. So we can see how the financing side, the, on the financing side, it has a lot also to do with the right side of the balance sheet, where we would have increases in if the company increases its equity, the equity outstanding, or if it, it borrows more, all of this would be reflected in the balance sheet as well. And obviously, increases and decreases in cash would be reflected in the balance sheet as well. So this is the cash flow statement. It is over. It is, captures information over a period of time. It's very important because companies can run out of cash, and monitoring the viability of the company and the ability to pay its bills is very interest, important. It's of interest to investors clearly and management. It's broken down typically into these three areas where we can see where the cash is coming from and it links to some of the other financial statements as well.